Hello, everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English. Enjoy Simple English 2019年度始まります。今年度も番組のナビゲーターを務めます、関根まりです。皆さんと一緒に英語のスキットを聞くのが楽しみです。月曜日は Japan Without a Map 日本ぶらり旅です。パフォーマーのコンビを組んでいるアキトとベンが日本全国の名所を訪ねるシリーズです。昨年度に引き続き二人のやりとりにも注目ですよ早速聞いてみましょう What a cool looking cart The steering wheel is really big It's as wide as the cart Akito, come over here No thanks That's called a turret truck I've seen one before But have you ever ridden on one? No Well then, get on! Excuse me, could you take a picture of us? Ben! I'm Akito. Ben and I are a street performance duo called A and B. Today, we were planning on doing a show at a nearby shopping center, but Ben said he wanted to come to Toyosu Market. It's interesting, but. Akito, look at that replica of a Maguro tuna. It's so big. Get the camera. Ben is acting just like a tourist. Oh, here's a sign with pictures of fish. It shows the best season to buy each type of fish. Well, that's not all. It tells you the best way to cook them, too. Wow! Ben, will you stop taking so many pictures? Look! You can watch the auction from here. Ah, you're right. Did you know that over 1,000 tons of seafood are bought and sold here each day? That's a lot! Look! People are raising their hands and making signals. Oh, That's called teari or hand signals for trading. Teari? The signals tell the seller the price they want to pay for the fish. But I can't understand them at all. There's information about the signals on this sign. Great! It's in English too. You put your index finger up to say one, you put your index and middle fingers up to say two. All the signals can be made by using just one hand. Uh huh. The buyers talk with the sellers with the hand signals. But it's so fast. Do the sellers have enough time to understand the signals? They're professionals, so they can do it. Next, we go to the part of the market that sells fruits and vegetables. I thought they only sold seafood at the market. Skiji was famous for its fish, right? Many people think so, but the market in Skiji also sold fruits and vegetables too. Skiji was called Japan's Kitchen, so Toyosu is Japan's new kitchen. Ben, you're hungry already? It's still early in the morning. I just had breakfast. Well, I didn't have breakfast this morning. What? Who comes to Toyosu Market with a full stomach? For me, eating is the best part. Let's have sushi first. Then we'll have tempura, soba, and unagi. Oh, I heard that there is a really good Yoshoku restaurant too. Hey, hey, that's too much food. We're going to perform this afternoon. I know. That's why we have to hurry. Come on! Hey, Ben, wait! We couldn't perform that day because Ben ate too much and fell asleep. For Ben, it seems eating is more important than performing. いかがでしたか Ben が言っていた豊洲市場は Japan's New Kitchen という表現ぴったりですね。それではまた、See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです毎週火曜日は Wisdom from the West 古典が語る西洋の知恵と題しまして人生の知恵や教訓までさりげなく教えてくれるイソップグーアを集めました1回目は The Fox and the Grapes キツネとブドウです最後の一文はこのお話から読み取れる教訓についてまとめています直訳せず文面から読み取ってみてくださいねでは早速聞いてみましょう It was a beautiful warm day. A fox was walking along the road and enjoying the afternoon. Then he saw a big green grapevine with large purple grapes. The fox thought, Mmm, those grapes look ready to eat. I want to eat one. I know they are delicious. They look so big and juicy. The fox looked at the grapes for a long time. In his mind, he was already eating them. But there was a problem. The grapes were high above his head. He could not reach them. He thought for a moment. Then the fox had a good idea. I know. I can jump. Why didn't I think of that before? I just have to jump and then I can eat the grapes. So the fox started jumping up and down to get the grapes. But the fox could not touch them. Finally, the fox was so tired that he sat down to take a break. He started to think again. He didn't want to give up. He wanted to eat the grapes so much. Oh, I know. I will run and then jump. If I run before I jump, then I can jump higher. I am so smart. Okay, here I go. The fox walked back down the road a little and got ready to run. He thought. I know I can do this. I want to eat the grapes. One, two, three. The fox ran up to the grapes and jumped as high as he could. He flew through the air, but still he could not even touch the grapes. I was so close. I almost got them. I know I can do it next time. The fox tried again and again, but each time he could not reach them. The fox sat down. He was very tired from jumping so many times. I can't jump anymore. I have no more energy left in me. The tired fox looked up at the grapes high above him. He wanted to eat them so much, but they were just too high. So the fox started to think differently. He thought, I am a fool. Those grapes aren't sweet. They must be sour. Look at them. They are too purple. And they are too big. Ugh! I am a big fool. I was jumping up and down for some sour grapes. The fox walked away from the grapevine with an angry look on his face. It is easy to hate what you cannot get. いかがでしたかキツネが悔しそうでしたね。あんなに頑張ってブドウを取ろうとして、本当は食べたくてしょうがないのに、あれは酸っぱくて美味しくないと明らかに強がっていましたね。英語で Sour grapes 酸っぱいブドウという熟語がありますが負け惜しみという意味でこの偶話から生まれたそうですそれでは明日もこの時間にお会いしましょう See you tomorrow!
Hello, everyone. Welcome to Enjoy Simple English. ナビゲーターの関根まりです。水曜日はオリジナルのショートストーリーです。日常に起こりうるちょっとしたストーリーや喜怒哀楽の人間模様のお話をお届けします。一話完結の読み切りです。今日ご紹介するのは My Face 私の顔というお話です。マリはファッションデザイナーになるため勉強をしていますまだ寒い4月のある日学校へ行ってみるとでは早速聞いてみましょう It's a cold day in April I am a student studying to become a fashion designer I see my classmate and call out to her Good morning Good morning Um Do I know you? It's me, Mari. Is that you? You look different with your mask and knit cap. I can't even see your glasses. Well, it's so cold today. No one will know it's you if they can't see your face. I don't care. Really? Who cares about faces? I want to become a famous fashion designer. If the world knows my designs, They don't have to know my face. But what if someone else puts on a mask, cap, and glasses and says, I'm the famous designer? Well, a designer's face is important, Mari. Your face is who you are. When I heard my friend's words, I thought about my father. He died a few years ago. What's wrong, Mari? Why are you crying? You never wear the hat I gave you for your birthday. I wear it sometimes. I love it. No, you don't like it. You only wear it near our house. That's true, but I love your gift. Then why don't you wear it more often? Mari, look at my face. Do you see this beard? Yes, Daddy. It hides my face. So, everyone remembers me by my hairstyle. A hat hides my hair. No one knows me when I wear one. Oh, then shave off your beard. <laughs> I've had this beard since you were a baby. No one will know me without it. Then you can't ever wear my hat. Hmm. I know. You can walk with me. Huh? If you are beside me, my friends will know it's me even if I wear the hat. How? My face and your face look the same. Daddy, I don't have a beard. I can draw a beard on your face for you. No! It's true. My face looks like my father's. I didn't like that when I was a teenager. I tried to change my face with lots of makeup and different hairstyles. But now I don't mind it too much. It's who I am. The next day I see my friend again. Morning! Morning! Oh, Mari? Is it really you? Yes, it's me. This is my face. I see. But where are your glasses and the mask and your cap? I put in contact lenses and I decided to stop wearing masks and caps. You look really nice. Thank you. People will know my face better this way, so no one can steal my designs. True. But first, I have to design something really great. いかがでしたか女の子はお父さんの顔に似ていると幸せになるとよく言いますが、まあ、私もですね父によく似ていると言われてきたのでこの言葉を強く信じて今まで生きてきましたまあ思春期の時は複雑な気持ちなんでしょうねでもこの物語のマリも受け入れることができてよかったですねそれではまた明日 See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです今年度の木曜日は2016年度に放送された日本の落語をもとにしたストーリーをお送りします今日ご紹介するのは Blowfish Soup ふぐ鍋です早速聞いてみましょう One day, a young man named Gonsuke goes to visit an old man named Sakichi. Hello, Sakichi. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Gonsuke. It's very cold today, so I made some fish soup. Let's have some. It will keep us warm. Great. I'm so hungry. What fish did you use? I used fu. fu. <laughs> What? For some reason, Sakichi does not want to say the fish's name. Gonsuke asks again. Please tell me the name of the fish. It's. it's a fugu blowfish. A fugu blowfish? Oh, um, I have to leave. What? Why are you suddenly leaving? Um, I just remembered. I'm not hungry. I had a big lunch. <laughs> you are afraid of eating blowfish. Uh, okay, I'm afraid. I heard that sometimes people die from eating blowfish. They have poison. Don't worry, I got this blowfish at a nice restaurant. The poison is already taken out. Really? Then can you eat it first? You're older. Uh, no. You can try it first. You are the guest. <laughs> Both Gonsuke and Sakichi are afraid. They just look at the soup. Hey, maybe someone will come. We can ask that person to eat some before us. If that person is fine, then we'll eat it. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> at that moment, Sakichi's neighbor Kumabe comes by. He is collecting old newspapers. Hello, Sakichi. Do you have any newspapers today? I don't have any newspapers today, but you can take some of this soup home. Soup? Yes. Gonsuke and I are eating it, but there is too much. Soup is great on a cold day like today. That's great. Thank you so much. With that, Kumabe takes a bowl of blowfish soup and leaves. After a while, Gonsuke and Sakichi go to Kumabe's house. They look through the window and see Kumabe eating. He looks happy. Hmm, Kumabe looks fine. I think the blowfish does not have any poison in it. Great! Then let's eat! The two men hurry back to Sakichi's house and eat the soup. Ah, this tastes so good. Yes, it's delicious. We shouldn't have given any to Kuma Bay. <laughs> <laughs> We should have eaten all of it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the two men finish eating the soup. Just then, Kumabe comes to Sakichi's house. Hello, I came to say hi. Hi! Um, Sakichi, did you eat your soup? Yes, I ate it all with Gonsuke. And you are feeling well? Of course, I feel great. Phew, that's great to hear. Now I can go home and enjoy my blowfish soup. Uh, But weren't you just eating the soup? No, that was miso soup. いかがでしたか英語で落語って面白いですね。フグは、ブローフィッシュ以外にも、パフェルフィッシュやグローブフィッシュという言い方もあるんですよ。それではまた明日。See you tomorrow!
Hello, everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English. ナビゲーターの関根まりです。昨年度に引き続き、毎週金曜日は Japanese Classics 日本文学を英語で味わうシリーズです。他の曜日に比べて、英語のレベルがやや高くなっていますが、ぜひチャレンジしてみてください。今日から4週にわたってお送りするのはあの「春はあけぼの」から始まる枕の草子「The Pillow Book」です早速聞いてみましょう「For spring, it is the dawn that is most beautiful. The skies on top of mountains become lighter and lighter. With the rising of the sun. The long, thin clouds that turn light purple are a sight to be enjoyed too. For summer, it is the night that is most beautiful. It is better when the moon is out, but a moonless night sky is also pretty, with fireflies dancing everywhere in the dark. Or even the faint light from one or two fireflies in the dark is pretty. Rain at night is also nice in the summer. For autumn, it is the evening that is most beautiful. The sky shines red, and just as the sun is about to sink into the mountains, you see three or four crows flying home. Sometimes it's only one or two. But somehow that sight makes me sigh and finds a way into my heart. Wild geese flying in lines far away in the distance are also a beautiful sight. Or the sound of wind and insects singing their songs after the sun has completely gone down. It goes without saying. For winter, it is the early morning that is most beautiful. It is beautiful when snow has fallen during the night, but splendid too when the ground is white with frost. But even when there is no snow or frost, the cold makes you feel that it is a winter morning. People rush to start a fire on those chilly mornings. Then they run from room to room, carrying hot charcoal for the stoves. It's all very winter like. But the morning cold starts to disappear around noon. Then you find that the charcoal in the stoves has turned into white ashes. That looks a little foolish. Things that make your heart dance. Keeping baby birds as pets. Passing by people playing with their babies. Lying down alone in a room with incense burning. When you look into a foggy mirror from a foreign country. When you see a man of high rank stop his wagon and get his servant to ask someone something. When you wash your hair, do your makeup, and wear a nice smelling kimono. Even if no one sees you all dressed up, your heart dances, and it's a nice feeling. The sounds of rain, or the rattle of the house when the wind blows, while you wait for your lover to come. Those sounds make your heart skip a beat. いかかがでしたか英語で聞いても美しいですね。枕の草子が書かれたのは平安時代の中期で作者の清少納言が30歳ぐらいの頃に書き始めたと言われているそうです。さてこの番組は明日土曜日に今週5回分の再放送があります。また来週月曜からはホームページや NHK 語学アプリで今週放送分をストリーミングでお聴きいただけます。それでは皆さん See you next week! you